My name is Jeroen van Veen. I'm the Victorian Reserve Manager of Bush Heritage Australia and we are on the latest acquisition uh, of Bush Heritage Australia in Victoria, uh, an extension to the existing Nardu Hills Reserves. This block uh, sits to the northeast of our existing Nardu Nord uh, Hills blocks uh, and it sits right wedged in between two isolated blocks of the Wichita Nature Conservation Reserve, which is public land reserve managed by Parks Victoria. Uh, both blocks have unique species on them, but they're isolated. Uh, Bush Heritage Australia concentrates on those landscapes that are underrepresented in the National Reserve System. And the inland slopes uh, of the Great Dividing Range, the woodlands on those inland slopes, is one of those landscapes uh, that we're particularly interested in. This latest acquisition, 202 hectares, uh, will add uh, further grassy woodlands to our portfolio protecting the animals, um, the birds, the lizards, the mammals that belong to that landscape. Um, overall, uh, in Australia, only about 18% of uh, the inland slope woodlands uh, is still remaining, and with 82% lost so far. The threatened woodland bird community, which is an officially listed community of birds under Victorian legislation, that includes species like the black chin honey eater, the hooded robin, the diamond firetail, the painted button quail, they are main target for our activities around here. Um, they're declining everywhere in Victoria, but in Wedderburn they seem to be holding their own. They, they seem to be, the numbers seem to be steady. Um, we hope to, with, uh, with this acquisition, to be able to increase those numbers. So not only do we stop the decline, but we build the numbers back up. An iconic species of the Wedderburn district is the, uh, the Mallee fowl. The mellifowl is one of those species that cannot go through cleared lands because they'll be picked off by predators like the wedge-tailed eagle or foxes and cats. Uh, the estimates range from maybe uh, 8 to 20 individuals, a very, very small population. Uh, it's the most southern population of mellifowl. About 70 hectares of this property uh, consists of cleared land, previously cleared land for agricultural purposes. That land need, needs to be revegetated. Bush Heritage Australia will revegetate that in the coming year. We work closely together with the Wedderburn Conservation Management Network and the Catchment Management Authority, the local Catchment Management Authority on that project. Bush Heritage works very closely with the WCMN and because you know we share those core values of connecting country. It's great that um, Bush Heritage has purchased this block because it's part of the target area of the Wedderburn Conservation Management Network to connect the country so that species can move through the landscape and they're not in, held in isolated pockets that aren't really viable for um, sustaining the um, species populations. Our cooperation with Trust for Nature includes taking out a covenant on this property. A covenant on a property means that it can never be cleared again. A Trust for Nature covenant runs with the land. It's recorded on title, which means that even if the land is sold or even if it's handed down through a will, the agreement stays on the land and protects it forever. 